I want to say congratulations on your doubles win today. Thank uh, you. Your second doubles win <laughs> together this weekend. Uh, how does it feel to win both of those events together? She cried. I cried. It was emotional. Uh, yeah, I think 13 years ago, like on this weekend, is when we met. And it's the first time we played together to Bullshire, so it was nice to be able to come in and both and take them both. Yeah, it felt, it felt accomplished. Like, to meet her as 12 years old <laughs> and now to get to play with her as an adult, it makes me feel good and uh, accomplished. She you did know? something right. And, I, and, I'm, and, I, and I'm flattered because I'm, I'm an old has-been, you know, and this young, beautiful kid wants to play with me, and I'm we're Chrissy successful. Davis's daughter, Shana has been. And we're successful, you know, and I can't ask for more. I was going to say, has-been's not fair. I remember the first time I watched you play up close was at the CSI, not last year, but the year prior, right. uh, where you were absolutely tearing up people. So has-been, my ass. That's <laughs> um, now, what makes your dynamic so strong together? Obviously, you have that history together, but like as far as the playing aspect, like, how does that come to play? In my mind, uh, I know if I miss, she's got me. She's always got me. Yeah, and I think, and it, I, th I think it's respect. I think that... Even though I'm older and more seasoned, she respects my opinion and she respects my advice. And she's, she's teachable. Like you can tell her and explain to her and she listens. And that's, that's important, you know? Absolutely. And you've been having a great weekend in particular. You're four for four on finals appearances. Can you tell me what attributes to that success and what, why it's going so well? Um, I wanted to show Cheyenne up this weekend. No. <laughs> she's mad that I beat her last year. Um, I don't know, I just, came in, I just came into the weekend thinking, you know, Stay focused and do your thing. I, have I had incredible partners. I had Cheyenne, I had Derek Hinkle, Marcus Polk, and they kept me really grounded and focused. And we just, I'm not going to say we got lucky, but we just, we did what we needed to do. So she did great. Absolutely. And we talked about it in our interview for WCS. <laughs> uh, not only do we mom daughter connection, but we also have the dart bestie connection. Can we get, elaborate where the bestie term? How do we feel about it? It's um, fitting. Uh, you know what, I don't even think Bestie <laughs> fulfills that. Like, it's not enough. She's my family. She's my heart. She's my love. And um, like when she played last Monday night in her match, I got off work exhausted, and I went to support her and to be there, keep her grounded, keep her focused. It's not about being friends. It's about being family, and that's what she is to me. Absolutely. And you two playing together. <laughs> Stop <me>. it. <laughs> oh, hold it together. Hold it. We're good. Uh, you two playing together, right? I mean, you two are a dominant duo when you guys play together on the board as well. Do you find it hard to play against each other when you guys see each other in the singles brackets? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, it's more of a, now I want to beat her. She's here. Yeah, and I want to beat her, like... Every time. <laughs> and one last question for you, and we kind of asked, talked about this in our previous interview as well. Uh, a lot of uh, female darters are going to watch this and maybe decide to get into the game, or youth darters that see you mm -hmm. grown as well. Uh, what advice would you give to those brand new players that decide to pick up uh, throwing arrows? Don't give up. Don't get discouraged if you lose. Just keep practicing and stay with it. Women's darts is underrated. It's underappreciated. We don't get the same payouts. We don't get the same respect. But if we all work together and we build it as a group for women, then we're going to get equal pay eventually. We're going to get equal respect that the men get, and that's what's important. That's the only way women's sports is going to grow.